learn the logic. I'm Kamil. I'm studying in class 4th. Today, I will hack a system through reverse shell using Python and Kali Linux. For this attack, I'm using Kali Linux and plain Windows 7. For this attack, I have created a backdoor in Python and converted .exe format with PyInstaller. Come on, let's see. So guys, writing this program would take a lot of time. That's why I have created this program before the video. For this hacking, we need listener and a backdoor. Listener and backdoor are created in Python. Now I will explain step by step the listener program. At here I have created a function called listener and I have created a variable that would take some sockets and we are binding the IP and port. IP is my Kali Linux uh, machine's IP and port is 444. And we are waiting for incoming connections and we are accepting the connection if we got. And printing got a connection from this address. And at here, we are sending the data and receiving the data. At here, we are taking the input from the user and splitting it with a space. And we are executing the command. We are sending the commands and receiving the command. And ca calling the class, listener class. Now at here, I have created class of backdoor. At here, we are connecting the this IP and this port. At here, we are sending the, some information and receiving some information. And at here, we are checking the output of the command like uh, we did dir 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 then that will check with sus sub process and give the result and return the result at this run we are giving if statement and if the command equals to exit it gonna exit the program if cd means some CD has CD and like any folder, then that will change the directory. We are doing that at here. Else, we are just doing normal commands. Now, let's just test the program. Let's just first run the listener program. Let's just start, start the program. Now it is waiting for incoming connections. Let's just go out here and run the program. Now let's just start the program. Now we got the connection. Let's just do, um, look at where we are. As you can see, these all files we have. And let's just change the directory to, let's just go to dist. Uh, no, let's just go to um, Python. Now let's just do it there. 
as you can see this backdoor is working fine but we will just convert this backdoor to an exe let's just do that for that we need to do one small thing let's just go at here and sorry at here we have to type we have to go where the backdoor is stored like this at here my backdoor is stored at here let's just write shift plus right click now you will get this small thing like open cmd or powershell i have get powershell let's just click that and now we have to install pine installer install pine sorry pine installer but we have to install the version 3.4 what the now i'm installing it right. it has saying i have already installed it let's just check by installer as you can see at here by install has been installed let's just do like this commands by installer and we have to convert which file let's just give the file name backdoor.py then Oh sorry. Then we have to write this dash dash one file that will create this exe in one file and no console. And this simple command would do all things means converting the py file to exe has been done let's just check if it is done yeah there it is now let's just get here control c let's just run the program again and let's just click that now as you can see our mouse is scrolling but nothing is happening but we got the connections connection now we can just do the same to any victim if they don't have python installed in their computer too let's just do some commands like this as you can see it is working let's just do navigate to back um let's just do the as you can see it is working fine stay tuned